What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I'm going to talk about the USA U20 team and how they did over their camp in Argentina this past week. And yeah, it was a pretty good camp for the team, a draw and a win, and before I get into the team, I want to talk about a, one quick change to the roster. Uh, Dante Sealy did pick up a knock, so he was replaced with Atlanta United's Tyler Wolf. He's been playing a lot for Atlanta United, so it's nice to see that get turned into some time for the national team. And also, though they weren't on the official roster, two players were called into training, uh, left back Noah Rovamatis and Cam Johnson, a forward. Uh, both are players local to Argentina who were called into this camp, which I don't expect them to be two very like big prospects. I wouldn't expect them to uh, impact the national team come the CONCACAF tournament this summer, but it's still very good to see that uh, Mickey Vars is scouting like the region and the world enough to know that we have those two players. So that's very good to see. So now going into our two games, the first one was against Argentina's U20 team, and this was a very big game. Though some players for Argentina were missing, so same case for America. We didn't have Ricardo Pepe or Gabriel Salmina in this. But uh, Argentina, we drew them 2-2. And something really cool about this game is uh, there were a couple of very high-profile players in attendance for Argentina. And when I say very high-profile, I mean very high-profile. Lionel Messi was watching this game alongside Angel Di Maria, Javier Mascherano, a couple others. And they got to see the American team draw the, the Argentina squad 2-2. And again, as I mentioned, Argentina, maybe not at full strength, but at the same time, USA, we didn't have Ricardo Pepe, no Gabriel Slonina, no Jonathan Gomez. So I feel like it's a fair game to talk about, and this was a very good performance. Uh, the first game, it had uh, goals from Quinn Sullivan and Paxton Aronson, the two Philadelphia Union uh, players, alongside uh, some assists from Caden Clark and Kevin Paradis. The starting lineup for this game was uh, Chris Brady uh, in goal, center back pairing of Brendan Craig and Marcus Fracanis, fullbacks were Caleb Wiley, Mauricio Cuevas, a midfield three of uh, Obed Vargas, Diego Luna, and Jack McGlynn, and up top was uh, Brian Gutierrez, Caden Clark, and Quinn Sullivan. Caden Clark playing as a bit of a false nine. So yeah, very good performance. Uh, Kevin Paradis came on as a sub alongside Justin Che, Daniel Edelman, and Paxton Aronson. So there's no footage of this game, or the next one, unfortunately. So uh, you can't judge too much from it, but going toe-to-toe -to -toe Argen against Argentina in Argentina, that's not a bad result, no matter how you look at it. A very good draw for the team, and it's good to see that we're still scoring goals. Something that uh, was a bit of a worry with Cade Coel out, but yeah, really good to see. And the next game was a 5-3 win against River Plate's reserves reserve team. So uh, something to note about River Plate, this is the reserve squad. It was players who weren't called into international duty alongside some reserve players, some youth players, and it was a very mixed team. So uh, about this game, River Plate treated it as like two games. The first half was its own game, second half its own game, so they completely switched their lineup. I can't find if America did the same thing. Uh, there is no real information on this game i know our goal scorers and that's it and even that's kind of fuzzy because there are different reports on that but uh yeah so for this game in the first half river plate had a one nil lead and then the second half they put on a bit of a stronger team putting on more starter more first team players a better reserve squad and they got another two goals but then the usa squad made a comeback scored five goals including a quinn sullivan hat trick and goals from obed vargas and jack mcglynn so yeah, very good performance by the USA team coming back against a team that had a few starters in it, like a couple of pro players. So very good performance by the USA team. Again, no starting lineup information, no information on the assists. Um, honestly, that Obed Vargas goal, like some reports say that was Diego Luna. I'm not sure about that, but it's just good to see. Very good performance by us. A tie against an Ar a very good Argentina team and a win against a very strong River Plate team. Though it was the reserves, and I should say that uh, technically, because they treated the games as two different halves, we had a penalty shootout after uh, the 5-2 half, and River Plate won that penalty shootout, so maybe it's not a win, but still, more goals than, more goals than River Plate over the two games, so that's very good to see. Again, no footage of these games, so you can't judge too much from it, but there are a couple of things I want to talk about. And uh, first one is, weirdly, goals don't appear to be an issue for this group, which isn't something I was really expecting to see. I mean, again, seven goals in uh, these two games is very good to see, and no true striker was called into this group. 
Uh, Cade Kowal is the guy I expect to see up top, and I think he was sick, so he wasn't able to get called into this group. So it's very good to see. Caden Clark was the false nine for this group. I think Quinn Sullivan was subbed on as a striker for uh, when he got his hat trick. So it's a very good, good, very good to see how many goals we're getting despite not having the real striker option. So that's reassuring. And also, Quinn Sullivan is looking like a star. Four goals in this camp after a very impressive U20 camp last time when they were uh, friendly MLS teams in their preseason where he scored a game winner against an MLS club, like their first team. So he's been looking great for the U20 camp. He has to be a starter come the CONCACAF tournament. And he's recently turned his U20 success into a pro start with the Philadelphia Union. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be a starter long term, but he's looking very good. He's probably the backup six for the team at the moment, or backup eight at the moment for the team. And should they switch formations, he'll probably get a bit more playing time. And Quinn Solomon is looking really good, and he might be one of the top prospects in this group, which isn't something that I was expecting to see. Uh, next, the only real negative I'd have for this, and again, it's hard to really even call this a negative because I didn't see the games, so you can only talk about it too much, but at the same time, uh, five goals conceded in these two games, that's not really something you like to see. I think a lot of our fullbacks are pretty attacking players. Uh, Caleb Wiley, he was subbed on as a winger during his debut for Atlanta United, where he scored a goal. Uh, Mauricio Cuevas as well, and aside from Justin Che, none of our center backs are really like wonder kids. So it's something to keep an eye out for the CONCACAF tournament, as between Canada and, in our group at the very least, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, there are some very good goal scorers to look out for, but uh, I don't feel like it'll be that much of an issue. I'm pretty confident in our group. Hopefully some more of our center backs will start to get some game time. Uh, it's going to be tough to see. I don't think LA Galaxy are going to play uh, Jalen Neal or Mauricio, or not Mauricio, uh, Marcus Fercanis. Uh, Philadelphia Union probably not going to start Brandon Craig, and even if they do, it might be in midfield. Uh, Kobe Henry should get a bit of time for it for Orange County, but USL time, so it is something to look out for. Defense might be an issue for this team, but uh, that's probably the only weak spot. I mean, maybe athleticism in the midfield, but the midfield looks very good technically. And last thing I just want to say is this team looks strong, like actually probably world level, well, level strong. I'm really hoping that we can have a very good CONCACAF qualifying campaign and I feel like we should. This is an Argentina team that is always one to look out for. And getting a result against Argentina in Argentina, that's something that you have to take note of. This team looks very strong, and I feel like we should be able to win the CONCACAF tournament. Now, Mexico, they look very strong. I talked about the Canadian team before. They look good as well. They've got a couple of great players, but so do we. I feel like we're just as good, and there are reasons to be excited about this U20 team. So that's all I've talked about. Sorry there's not as infor as much information as I'd really like to say, but I want to get an update on this team because I talked about it going into this camp. And yeah, this is all I've talked about today. See ya.